Okay, so what we're doing now, we're gonna go ahead and test the bilge pump. Because we start taking on water, we take this out. I definitely don't want to be stuck in it sinking with no bilge pump. So, it's filling up. Let's go ahead and turn on the pump. Okay, turn the pump on. And, oh, perfect. All right. I'm not. So, build pump is working like it's supposed to. Kicking that water out. I'll give you three guesses on what we're doing today and the first two don't count <laughs> all right so basically I went to go ahead and find uh, the other washer to put in here to tighten this down and you know get it out and try it but uh, I just after taking it off and inspecting it and everything um, the rubber gaskets inside are all shot and this actually got pushed down in further than it should be. Uh, that's because all the gaskets and everything are rotting away and stuff. And I've heard horror stories about these spinning off on people. So I went ahead and just uh, got this guy here. This is a Quicksilver propeller. Um, these are made for all types of uh, engines. Uh, thing is, you have to get uh, with this one for my Mark Cruiser, uh, which is the three liter, uh, 140 horsepower. You got to buy the Flow Torque hub assembly kit, which basically makes it a uh, Mark Cruiser. The kit comes with everything you need, or should come with everything you need. Um, yeah new assembly this is a lock for the new nut which should have yep got it in here which this is a one and one sixteenths with the nylon and I was going to use the same nut but eh, it's shot I'd rather just have new stuff on here not worry about it falling off on me <laughs> while we're on the water because uh, that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> so, this stuff here, that's junk now. And now we got our new propeller and hub assembly. We'll go ahead and get this all together and get it on here. First thing we want to do though is clean this off, get all the old grease off and everything. And then uh, once we get that off, we're gonna go ahead and lube it up with some marine grease. So let's go ahead and get that, that grease off. And this just brake clean. Oh, just don't need that anymore. So we got that nice and shiny and clean now. 
Next thing we want to do is go ahead and lube it up with some marine grease. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take this sleeve, we're going to put it in there, and you can see that it doesn't go down all the way. So what you do, just get a mallet, and you just give it a little whack, and that brings it so it seats itself right in there. Then the next thing you want to do is take your thrust washer, put it right on top. Give that a hit, couple hits. Make sure that make sure that it's seated in there. So now, now that that's seated in there all the way. You can go ahead and slip this on. Then you want to take your, your bushing and go ahead and put that in there, line it up. Okay, so that's on there now. Next, we want to go ahead and take the locking tab and put that on there. And as you can see, it lines up with the two tabs on there. Then you want to go ahead and take your, your nut and go ahead and thread that on. Then you want to take your 1 and 1 16th and go ahead and tighten it up. So that should be on there pretty good now. And there we go. Got the new propeller on, it's all lubed up. Got the lock on there and you can see those tabs. Uh, Cause if it's not lined up with that and you put them on and they're not lined up, when you put it in reverse, this thing will actually spin off on you. So once again, you, you don't want to lose this. So, all right, there we go. That's how you put a propeller on. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and get the gimbal assembly in there. I want to shoot some grease in there, make sure it's all uh, all greased up. So we're gonna go ahead and use the marine grease.
starting to come through the sides there. See the grease came out up top. All right, so now we got all the Zerk fittings done and propellers on. This should be all set for now. Like I said, in the future, we we'll have to do these bellows because you, you can see how they're dry rotted. But for the purposes of taking it out for a test spin, that that should be okay for now. No, they're not going to the cabin. You're going to go ahead and put them in the glove box up there, okay? <laughs> All right. My little helper. He's got ropes going everywhere in here. There we go. Go ahead and put them right in there. Yep. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. All right. Is that everything? Yep. All right. Good job, Mage. All right, thank you. <laughs> all right, Major. Gotta get your baseballs out of there. Get them all. I don't have one. Did you get them all? Here, get them all out of there. All right, Major. <laughs> get your baseballs out of there. Go ahead and crawl. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> you got him? Yeah. Okay. Come on back out. Got the other one. Got it. All right. Come on out. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay. So I don't know who, if anyone caught it, but I was thinking about it when I got done. Uh, yesterday it was all hot and muggy like 90 degrees with the humidity and it was just uh, I was trying to get this done and I forgot You got to pull these tabs up you got to bend them up so they're on here uh, Otherwise you're gonna lose your propeller because that that won't hold it that'll spin off and I'll just come undone this actually Helps hold it and keeps them in to where the tabs are So you want to take a flat head and bend these ears up. And you got to make sure that it's on the flat side of the nut. All right, once you got them popped up a little, you can go ahead and squeeze them into place. So now, now that's secured on there. So, glad I was thinking about that when I got done. That would have been bad. <laughs> but that's all set now. Okay, so the next thing we want to do today, we want to go ahead and replace these belts. This one's already starting to fall apart. And that's just from running it for that little while that I had it. Um, and then I want to get all the rust off the pulleys. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to take this pulley off. Um, there's not much room to try and slide. A lot of people say that you can slide these belts down through there, but I mean, you're just going to nick it up and cut it trying to just squeeze it in through there. So I say we just take off this pulley. We'll loosen up everything here. And if we take this pulley off, we'll be able to get everything on with no issues.
the replacement belt. 11AV0940. Okay, next thing is, we gotta get these bolts out here. You can see this one was starting to split and come apart. And this is the replacement belt for that. Alright, so what we want to do really quick though, we want to go ahead and clean these up, get up, get as much rust off as possible. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean this sucker off here. You can see how all the junk. Look at that. I'm going to take it and then blow from the inside with the air compressor. Get the rest of the junk out of there. Okay. Now that we got them, all the pulleys all sanded up and painted. Let's go ahead and get the belts back on and get this back together and we'll be all set. We're going to slip this belt underneath through here. All the way down onto the engine pulley. Go ahead and Tuck that under there. There we go. Let's get everything on loose. Alright, so actually before we put this back on, this little lithium grease, this is the heavy duty. I want to put a little bit of this on the back side of that pulley. and get these belts on.
right, so now we got the belts on the pulleys. We're gonna have to go ahead and tighten them up. So this one here is a 9 16 And this one over here on the alternator is a half inch. Hey. What are you guys doing down there, huh? Nothing. I was going to pressure wash the boat for you. Yeah, Olaf, looks like you're trying to eat the cap off of it. Hey, Olaf. What? Don't eat the gas cap, okay? Don't eat any of that. Oh, just delicious. Olaf, no. Do not eat the pull string. God, you don't let me do anything. Olaf, if you're a good boy, then I'll take you out on the boat, okay? You could be the goat on the boat. Okay, sounds good. All right, Georgie. Thanks for telling me that he was doing that. All right, back to this. So now we got the this piece back on the engine mount and got the two bolts in. Everything's all together. Belts, everything's tightened up. Um, let's go ahead and we'll clean up here and then we'll go ahead and hook it up to the water and start her up and see what she does. All right. Hey, mage. So we got everything hooked back up here. Got the water going. Okay. Just double check everything. Both bolts back on for the engine mount. Belts on, that's tightened. Belts on, that's tightened. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and change out the gear oil. You have a screw here, and you have a screw down here. So, we'll go ahead and take this screw out, get the kit installed. That way we can start pumping it in. Well, we'll drain it out first, and then uh, you release this top what? plug here, and you pump it in until it starts to come out the top there. So let's get started.
takes about roughly 20 minutes to drain it all out. rubber gaskets in there um, they were hard to see it didn't even look like they're in there so double check stick a screwdriver in there and pull them out like I did all right so now we're gonna pump this thing until we start to see fluid come out the top here. This actually had two of them stuck together, so maybe when they did it before, they couldn't uh, couldn't find this one. Almost like what I was gonna do. all the fluid got everything all set last thing to do put in our drain plug all right so only one thing left to do take her out and fire her up and see what she does so all right hope you like subscribe and I'm gonna post the the ride on another video so hope you like